going to load the uh, one graph Hamel. So we have Hadoop rooted data dot graph Hamel. We are going to load that graph in Gephi. And here you can see that as we can select what type of graph we are really trying to build with that. So we have we are setting directed the number of nodes and the number of edges. We are already seen here, and then we can just go ahead and load it. So Gephi has these three panels: overview, data laboratory, and preview. If you refresh it, so we are refreshing it. This is what raw data really look like within that graph Hamel because the currently preview tab is opening by default. Most of the time, we use overview to work on our data, and when I say to work on our data means that we try to change different layouts which is in our left panel you can see there are different preset layouts and then we try to run statistics on our data so these are the different different statistics algorithms which are available so we can we can run on that and then we can filter our data so these are the different libraries already available so here when we select a filter then we just try to adjust the query here and then using this button we try to change the content here so at the very uh, top right you see the number of nodes number of edges that is what you currently seeing in this view so once you apply the filters what's gonna happen that these number of edges and nodes is going to adjust depend on your filter and you are going to see a different view and once you have that set up then you come back here and use this partition and ranking to adjust color and modify and just visualize the data in different way so that is what overview panel is and in central area where you are seeing this particular graph this is what uh, here the different graph related settings here the size here the nodes and edges relating set related settings here and if there is a very tiny button this open it here you see that there are some property related with the nodes edge and labels so this is this is what the this is what gapify uh, application overview panel look like in data laboratory what you are really going to see is all about data so the data which we have pulled in the graph panel at the background it just shows the number of this is a node based data so these are the node node id node labels and then the uh, even the big because when we are pulling data the image file is also available and not only that we also have the edges related data so it's just like the source and target where the edges start and where it's really connected to connected from connected to types of directed okay and then the id id is just like the, the in this particular graphs these are the edge id so that is what we are really seeing here data you can actually play with the data you can modify it you can massage it you can you can do several things within this data laboratory and then preview is just what you have actually played through in overview and you come here you can just try to set up your edge and nodes and labels and you can see so refresh it and that's what you are really going to see here so that was what were, that was very quick general introduction to Gaffey now we can come back here overview and let's play with this. so you see here when you are in the panel you can use if you are in Windows uh, as I am you can use your mouse wheel and you can zoom out you can zoom in that's where you really see you can come and that's where you can put your mouse over and you can highlight this node and once you highlight highlight it it's actually shows the everything in that so if we highlight it let me show you here we bring so that's what the all these nodes and the edges is really highlighted with it and if you see here this particular node and if you see this particular node, there is a very small here the very small curve so if the nodes so what this the difference here is that this particular tweet if we look into is this particular tweet and the dif difference between this particular what is happening that this particular tweet will really be made tweeted by other so it 
got some mansion it got some rt that's why you see the, where there is a very tiny this thing when we change the colors when when we massage our data for proper visualization then those uh, area are really which um, get visualized really very good so okay once we are here uh, just for a quick because sometimes when we play with the data these edges get really very light or uh, not visible so you can actually come here and you can make them little more darker but i always start with less so we have uh, some option to make them darker when needed so you see here that a lot of uh, these nodes are set at center and then a lot lots of nodes are scattered uh, okay so what we will do let's go layout and i will try to play with a few layouts here so here let's try to contract it you see here contract and scale factor is pointed and when we select the layout we run it now i'm running it and you see here that every run is actually trying to contract the, the data you can use the right mouse right mouse button to adjust the data in center and i'm i'm really contracting it and that is what you are really seeing here so at what what's going to happen let's try it again you see this is what data really look like if we change the con layout here okay if you try to use contract and the graph is really condensing to here that's what really graph look like so once we have it okay let's see now we can come back and here come to force atlas uh, algorithm and here we can see the full sub trends these are the basic values but we can change to some different value and let's make it 20,000 attraction is kind this is the attraction between the nodes and okay so this is make it um, 30 okay maximum displacement within these nodes do not auto stabilize and gravity is set to three okay and then we can say okay now i just change this layout properties and i'm running it now please keep an eye on the graph and see what's really going to happen okay run it now graph is moving and then in order to, I'm, I'm trying to zoom zooming it out so you see here that is what is happening this graph is really being so most of these individual edges, the individual nodes are being outside and the the communities is really coming up in center so i will stop this go to center and try to darken it so you see here that is what you have you see now if we try to zoom in and that's where you really see these are the independent uh, these are the nodes here you see that they all have r dimension this is nodes r dimension but no net, net no edge and here are the r come nodes just they do not receive any mention from others okay next step step is to run some statistics within within our data so here we have statistics and when you first thing at the top you can see is average degree what average degree is average degree is the amount of mention given and received okay we will run it and once we ran this data this is the 1.127 average degree and the degree distribution what you are really seeing here so this is the degree distribution means the num the the total number of mention received so these are the number of mentions and then these are the number of nodes so you here you see that there is a lots of nodes which are just only one range and then but there are only few nodes which really went a little higher and then we can look into that so there is only nodes like one or two in number which is like this number is like this one or two three four something like that okay and then next we are seeing the in degree distribution and the out degree distribution so what the in degree dis distribution is in degree distribution is actually talk about the size of node telling the dimension as well as the out degree is what the twitter user mentioned others so that is what you are seeing in degree and, and out degree 
values. So you see here that in out degree the maximum is 30 between 30 and 35 versus in degree the maximum is 40 40 and 50. So that's what the values we have once we set average degree we can actually the second thing is come modularity so what modularity is modularity is what provides the uh, community so once we run the modularity it's uh, the lower so community so like just create the community based on one or two or three so i will say that okay just create the community community based on two do not use one so we can filter all those one a single nodes so this is what we have seen the size distribution based on our modularity number and we have also ran modularity okay once we ran those statistics now we can go ahead and we can filter values here so you come here we and there are the different preset libraries so here we have here we have attribute and we also have here the something called partition count and we also have range here so we can play with the data little more here and see what can what could happen so let's come here range when i came here range and here you can see that we have in degree in degree and if i come double click here that in degree shows 0 to 47 so what the in degree was if you remember the in degree is the size of nodes telling the mentions okay and if a if i try to adjust this data so for example um, moving here and now based on that filter you see that that's what what is really available to you all if you see there are only 70 nodes and 23 edge if I try to move this and if I try to here and you see that is based on let me run the filter here so 928 versus 999 edge so this is what you are really seeing so this is that's the way you really filter based on uh, based on your statistics value. I removed it. Now if I try to use out degree, which is like one to thirty two, and out degree is the Twitter user mentioned other uh, based on that. So if you had a node and if the node out degree is thirty two, it means that that particular tweet is really mentioned by thirty two others. So you see here that there are some of those higher values really showed here. So if I try to filter this here and keep an eye, so you see here that is almost so based on these degree values, your your Twitter data will be your your data will be really very different view. So that's that's what the usability of these filters are. I will remove this one again. Okay, now let's look into the partition count. So here this partition count, and here within the partition count, here you can see that we have degree we have modularity class so modularity class as i mentioned that is all about community so once i selected the modularity class and here you can see that we have the in, in i would like to lift it up here are the parameters and here you see that modularity class 1 to 67 so that's really visible here so if i try to go from 1 to 2 5 166 and now you see here that based on this if I go ranges now you see that there are dots if I try to zoom out you will see that the nodes which are one or two is actually gone they are not really visible here but if I try to come back to zero now if I try to come here now you see that these nodes are available here that's where so that's where we are really trying to filter here so I can go zoom it zoom it out and i have one i will try to use the little more so we have three now that really gives us so we we have to reduce one and two and now we are starting from modality class three this is what they does we have 241 nodes out of around 900 something almost and then edge it so 241 three so this is what we are really seeing here so we filtered some data and this is what we 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 came here now based on this data what we could do we can come back and try to try to colorize it play with the data and then see how, what else we could do 